Let's talk about broadheads, baby. Let's talk about, let's just talk about broadheads, come on. We're working on broadhead tunes today and I wanna keep it pretty basic. We've been getting a lot of questions about broadhead tuning that your bow was shooting this arrow with a fill point perfect through paper. I'll just tell you that doesn't mean much to me. When you come out, let's say that we shot right here for the orange dot and our fill point hit where it needed to, but our broadhead is hitting off the target or even this far out, that means we have a weak spine. It does not matter if paper didn't tell you had a weak spine. When your broadhead's flying to the right and you have a center shot at rest, it's either your grip or more than likely you've got a weak spine. Vice versa. If the broadhead hits to the left, the spine's a little bit stiff. The first time I have a bow that hits this far apart, I don't adjust the rest, I'm done. I'm gonna stiffen or I'm gonna weaken the spine. Now let's go check this out. I'm gonna show you what a broadhead and fill point group should look like at about 20 yards. But that's not the finishing of the broadhead group. We're gonna to wanna to go 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Again, just for a quick reminder, if we hit really far right of the fill point, or we hit really, we're, we're weak, or we hit really far left, the arrow is stiff. Right weak, left stiff. It's pretty simple. Let's go check these out. I think the number two question we get asked about broadheads on our Instagram page is if we index our blades to the veins, and I don't. I've, I've never had an issue with it. Never saw it be any type of concern to me. The only thing I do do, I do do, is I actually make sure my one vein is, by my one blade is pointing straight up. So we're at 20 yards now, I'm gonna shoot my broadhead first. We don't wanna shoot our broadhead second and mess up our fill point. Obviously, my sight is a little bit off um, height-wise because we're aiming for the orange dot, but that's a broadhead fill point group. Pull the fill point out first. So there's your fill point, and now we're gonna slowly get this broadhead out without cutting our hands. So if your bow's set up correctly, it doesn't matter if it shoots a perfect bullet hole through paper, your broadhead and fill point should shoot close to each other. If your margin of error in normally shooting fill points is this size, that's what your group should be. If it's this size, that's what your group should be. It's all about your ability to shoot, not just the arrow, but spine plays such an important factor in that. That's a simple broadhead tune and the way that we do it here. We don't stress about the paper, we get a quick run through paper, but most importantly, we just see where our broadheads are hitting. That's how the broadhead tune.